Your cell phone bill could be going up in the near future. The White House is pushing for an extra tax to an already long list of government fees and surcharges. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett explains how much it will cost and where the money will go. Jason. Well, Sadie, the tax would cost cell phone users an additional $5 per year. That breaks down to about 40 cents per month. But not everybody is on board with President Obama's approach. For Emily Gertz, mother of three little ones, it's about time. Well, I think the U.S. is way behind in having access to high-speed Internet when you look at other countries. And Her children and other students would benefit from the Connect Ed program, which would put high-speed Internet in 99% of classrooms nationwide. But at what cost? So the president has advocated uh, an administrative unilateral action to get this done. We're not going to wait for Congress to act. White House officials say with problems in Washington, the president is looking to the FCC, not lawmakers, to pass the tax. University of Iowa professor Nicholas Johnson says it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, this is a way to do that that is consistent with the way we've done it with the telephone industry in the past. Johnson, who is also a former FCC commissioner, says there was a similar push decades ago to expand telephone service nationwide. He says this is the same concept. We have to be able to get into the classrooms of every student, not just those in large urban centers. Iowans we spoke to today say they wouldn't mind the extra five bucks. High-speed internet in classrooms definitely be a good, good thing for places to have. But the idea of the president bypassing Congress rubs some the wrong way. That's how all the other laws are passed. I don't know why this one should be different. Still, some think it may be necessary. At this point, to avoid gridlock, if there's a better method or an alternative method, I think that's a wise move. If the tax is passed, it's set to be retired after it generates about $6 billion. Recovering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.